my high watch time right now, not to say it couldn't happen on any other day, is day of ascension. And the question is, which calendar and which day is the true day of ascension? But so I'm going to assume for a moment that the true Passover was in April. And I believe based on, you know, if you go on renewedmoon.com, it can tell you like when they spotted the correct biblical crescent new moon. And based on that, I believe that April 8th and 9th, which was the time frame that people were celebrating Resurrection Sunday, actually ends up being the third day when Jesus rose from the grave. So if you count 40 days from that, you know, because obviously biblically, like Jesus came, like he, he conquered the grave. He, he came back, he walked the earth for 40 days and appeared to many. So, and on the 40th day, he, he rose and that's Ascension Day. And what's really cool about that is, well, there's a verse in, I think it's Acts 111, and it says, you know, that he will come back in like manner. So how cool would that be if on the day of ascension, we ascended just like he did? I mean, whoa, that would just be so, oh, I really hope that's it, guys. I really want to go home. <laughs> and he told us where to watch and where the signs would be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And he told us that he put the sun and the moon there for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. And it's gigantinormous and very encouraging. The new moon is expected at 1553 universal time on May 19th. Strong's Greek, 1553, the definition is to be away from home. Like we are right now, waiting to go home. And most of you know, one day before that, one day before the new moon is the anniversary of Ascension Day, Acts 111, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. And most of you know, 40 days after he was resurrected, he was raptured. On Ascension Day, they could just call it Rapture Day because Jesus Christ was caught up and the signs in the sun and the moon and the stars are stacked. And one day before the anniversary of Ascension Day, May 17th, the moon occults Jupiter. And as you can see right now, the moon is entering what they call Pisces, headed for Jupiter. And as you go through the hours, you could see the moon approaching Jupiter. And tomorrow on the 17th, there's when they occult and the moon covers Jupiter. If you go through the hours, you could see it passing Jupiter and Mercury. And right there, it's next to what they call the planet Uranus underneath what they call Aries. And as you keep going through the hours, you can see, and I'll zoom in, you can see the moon slides right between what they call Pleiades and the sun perfectly on the 19th. And here's what's gigantinormous. If you didn't know, it's a rare black moon on May 19th. And as you can see, it's right there. 2023, May 19th. Let me run that back for you, family. On May 17th, tomorrow, the moon occults Jupiter, and I showed you it's right there. And on May 18th, when the moon is under what they call Aries, they call that fake god, the god of war, Aries, the moon on Ascension Day will be right between what they call Jupiter, Mercury, and the sun. When you go to the 19th, the new moon, the new rare black moon, it's lined up with the sun. And as you go through the hours, you can see that the moon is right between what they call the sun and Pleiades. Job 38, 31, canst thou bind the sweet influences of Pleiades or loose the bands of Orion? Well, when you zoom out, you could see that Orion is standing right in front of what they call Taurus, the bull. 
the asteroid Esther and the asteroid Cleopatra, both queens, are sitting right in front of the constellation Orion. Now I need to share this. This is from several years ago. I've shared it many times. I saw Trump and his daughter Ivanka. Then I saw a calendar, but not the month. I just saw the dates. 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Everyone thought that Ivanka's birthday was over, but then Trump started counting out loud while looking at the dates I saw on the calendar. 15, 16, 17, 18, and then he said extra loudly, 19. So I looked up um, the name Ivanka, and it means God is gracious. Everyone thought that Ivanka's birthday had passed. Maybe it just represents everyone thinks is starting to think they're losing their hope in God's grace, wondering if the rapture is ever going to happen. About a week ago, after a voice was audibly heard in a recording I did of my little boy, Skylar, you can hear a voice whisper, and say, look up. And then Skylar said for the first time ever in his life, look up. A few days after that, the Holy Spirit nudged me to go back and listen to some like older audio recordings I did of Skylar. And then he starts saying things like prophetic things. And I know he's talking to the Lord. So that's the only reason I've ever done it. You know, I'm not trying to pick up voices or anything like that. I'm just literally trying to record what my son is saying because I know that he walks very close to the Lord. He's spoken in like nine different languages and he's nonverbal, you guys. So I went back and was listening to some older videos and or audio recordings. And I came across one and I about fell out of my chair. And I did send it to a sister and she was praying it as well. And she, you can hear a voice very clearly on this one. And, um, and I did not want to share it. I did not want to share it. Did not want to share it. And I just kept praying to the Lord about it. Lord, if you want me to share this, you're going to have to make it crystal clear and give me many confirmations. If you want me to share this. So Trump yelled 19 in that dream. Started with 15. So I'm going to play this. And first I'm going to tell you what is said. And it's pretty much at the beginning of the video, but then it comes back. The voice clearly says, 19, heart, like H-E-A-R-T, H-E-A-R-T, 19, heart. And then it says, 19. And then Skylar says, Kiri, Kiri, which is Greek and means Lord. And he was all happy and giggly and laughing. And then you can hear it again say, 19. Hurt, H U R T. So it said, 19, heart, 19. And then later said, 19, hurt. And then Skylar starts saying, he come, he come, I go, I go. Right after that voice is heard. And then in the following video, the one I did right after that, the audio recording, it's a shorter one. Right after my son says, I know, that same voice, you can hear it say 19. The Lord audibly spoke in four videos now. The first one, was Aya, which is Hebrew and means I am. And my son had been saying that for months before that happened. In the second video, a voice is heard saying, not too long. In the third one, the voice said, look up. And then my son repeated, look up. And he's never said that before, ever. In this video that the Holy Spirit led me to last week that I really didn't want to share is saying 19 heart 
19. So here it is. Nineteen heart. Nineteen. Nineteen hurt. I shared this with the sister. She was praying on it, and she sent me this voice recording today. She said, I just wanted to have you pray and see if your spirit bears witness with it. If not, it's okay. I just was being obedient. So I'm just going to play it. She gave me permission to do so. Hi, sister. Um... It's like 324 right now, and I have been um, in deep prayer over some things the last few days, actually, and uh, I just wanted to let you know that I heard right this second as I was researching something and came up with the number 19, and as I began to just pray on it and pray on it, and I am always so, like worried that if I say something, this is just coming from my inside my heart. And I just felt like I needed to tell you about it. I haven't said anything to anyone else. Um, because I wouldn't want to say something that wasn't prayed over. So I'm asking for your prayer over this. I heard in my spirit, a very clear voice say, three Day warning 19. That's what I heard. Um, I'm going to keep praying on it. I have no idea if that means three day warning from um, a date of 19. I have no idea at this point. I'm just going, I'm just telling you exactly what I heard in my heart and in my head. And I could just feel the, the, the words exuding through me when I heard it. So after she shared that with me, you now I was kind of freaking out. And because I was asking him to confirm it for like a while. And I just kept praying, kept praying, asking the Lord to make my path straight and to give me even more confirmation before I am going to share something like this. And then he instantly reminded me I have a close brother and friend, Paul, in a dream that he had had. I'm going to share that. He was getting ready for an interview meeting in the city and was trying to get everything ready for it, which this part has already come to pass in real life. I brought my suit to the cleaners and made sure it was ready for the interview. I then was driving with my mom and brother, and they reminded me to get turkey from the store. I went in and went into the clerk and asked for turkey, the brand name. Written on the package of the turkey was Red Sea. The clerk spoke in a thick Russian accent and handed me the turkey and charged me $19 and handed it to me. I took the turkey and turned the package around 
and the word Pentecost was written across the package, and I woke up. Today, Turkey will hold a runoff election on May 28th, which is the day of Pentecost, by the way, with Erdogan in the lead. So the Lord is definitely speaking loudly about the number 19. 19 heart, 19 hurt. Strong's Greek, 19 means goodness. Strong's Hebrew, number 19, means slaughter. 19 heart, 19 hurt. And the video of this is number 19. And it's um, 119 gigabytes. And then Skyler is saying, he come, he come, I go, I go. And the one right after that, <laughs> right after Skyler says, I know, you can hear the voice say 19 again. Jesus is seriously about to come. Jacob's trouble is about to start. Believe in Jesus today. Join me on my other media platforms. The links are in the description area below this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.